friends, welcome back to Healthy Grocery Girl and Happy New Year. I love the new year. It's a new chapter and it's a really great time to refresh after the holidays. Today I'm sharing 10 tips for starting a healthy lifestyle and these tips are really great for all of us, whether you're new to healthier habits or you just need a little refresher. As an ambassador for SunSweet, I am partnering with them on today's video. So a few of my tips and recipes I'm sharing today will incorporate SunSweet's amazing prunes along with other dried fruits and show how incorporating them into your diet can help you feel good in the new year. I'd also love to learn what you do to feel good in the new year. So please share with us below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. And now let's get started with our video. Tip number one is to start the day with fresh air and exercise. I love to go on a morning walk with my daughter. Fresh air and exercise boosts my mood, improves blood circulation, and gives me more energy that lasts all day long. And there's no such thing as a bad workout. So do what you can, whether it's for five minutes or an hour. Tip number two is to consume more real whole food snacks. And one of my favorite snacks is DIY trail mix. I love a handful of sunsweet dried fruits, whether it's sunsweet prunes, dates, or apricots, and then a handful of nuts. Sunsweet dried fruits add natural sweetness, energizing carbohydrates and fiber, as well as vitamins and minerals. Then pair with nuts or seeds, such as almonds for protein, fiber, and healthy fats. And this snack will keep you energized and full to avoid an energy crash. And here's a little bonus tip. Studies have shown that eating five to six prunes per day may improve your bone health. Tip number three is that your mental health matters. A healthy lifestyle is not just about drinking green smoothies and going to yoga. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Your emotions, thoughts, concerns, frustrations, and fears, they matter and you're not alone. If you're struggling in life, through a certain season of waiting or disappointment, stress, fatigue, or worry, the best thing that you can do for your mental health is to share what you're feeling. Talk it out with a trusted friend, family member, or therapist, or one of my favorite things to do, keep a journal. It's a really great way to purge or work through what's in your mind that may be causing you anxiety. And no matter what you're going through, know that you're not alone, you are worthy, and that you're doing a really great job. There are so many other people who can relate to your story, and it's okay to ask for help. Tip number four is to stay hydrated. We all know that we need to stay hydrated and drink enough water. However, it's also really easy to forget or reach for beverages that may be dehydrating, such as drinks that are higher in caffeine. If regular water is boring, try adding fresh lemon juice or drinking herbal teas or herbal iced tea as a great way to make hydration more fun and tastier. Tip number five is to get better sleep. And the quality of your sleep, it's just as important as the quantity. If you find yourself struggling to get a good night's sleep, I suggest turning off the TV, unplugging from social media at least 30 to 60 minutes before you go to sleep. You can also diffuse essential oils that are really calming, such as lavender or chamomile. Also make sure your room is not too hot or too cold and that your room is dark. We actually sleep better when our room is a little bit cooler and it's dark. Tip number six is to eat more plant powered. Nutrition is not one size fits all. So whether you eat paleo, keto, whole 30, vegan, plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, a diet rich in plant-based foods is truly best to help support you with your short-term and long-term health goals. This is because plant-based foods have antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and fiber, which can help with things such as digestion, gut health, immunity, and hormone health. Smoothies are one of my favorite ways to pack in fruits and veggies. For example, this prune protein shake has an unexpected veggie, frozen cauliflower, which I promise you can't taste. And tossing in some prunes is a great way to add fiber and natural sweetness without added sugar to help you feel your best. Prunes are also lower in naturally occurring sugars compared to other dried fruits. Here's how you make this prune protein shake. Sunsweet amazing prunes, frozen cauliflower, banana, cinnamon, almond butter, protein powder, and coconut milk. Blend all ingredients together and enjoy. It's that simple and that delicious. Three Sun Sweet Amazing Prunes. Tip 
Tip number seven is to spend time alone. Now I know as a mom, this can be nearly impossible. However, it's so important to carve out some time every single day where you can be alone because when we're able to just be alone in silence, it's really restful and really restoring. So whether that's going on a walk, taking a bath, just sitting quietly, enjoying a cup of tea when your little one's napping or after they've gone to sleep at night, implementing a time every single day where you can just be alone, recharge, is gonna do wonders for your health. Tip number eight is gratitude. Focus on the good and the good gets better. Is a quote that I love, but that's not always easy because sometimes life is really, really hard. It's so important to honor your feelings, whatever you're going through. If you're grieving, if you're having moments of disappointment or sadness, it's so important to not just brush those off and just say, oh, things will get better. It's important to honor your feelings, feel them for what you're currently going through. However, I do find that for me personally, a lot of the things that I worry about or that I'm anxious about, they never happen or maybe they, maybe they don't happen to the extent that I'm worrying about them. Reflecting on how far you've come, hard moments that you've overcome in the past, which will remind you that you can do hard things and you will overcome hard moments again, and just being grateful for what we have currently. And I try each day to just think of three things that I'm grateful for, and I encourage you right now to take a moment and also think of three things that you're grateful for, and if you'd like, you can share with us in the comments below. Tip number nine is to meal plan. What's for dinner? It's the question that we all dread by the end of the day. However, meal prepping does not have to be this weekend marathon of grocery shopping and chopping and washing or washing and shopping, I should say, and prepping every single item that you're going to eat for the entire week. And after all of that, you're so exhausted that you end up ordering a pizza. I suggest picking two to three recipes that you're going to make as your mains for the week and make enough that you have leftovers. Leftovers are really the key to help make eating healthier, easier throughout the week. One of my favorite meals to meal prep is soups or chilies because they're so easy to make. They store really well in the fridge or freezer and it's a really easy way to add in so many veggies and healthy ingredients. And another recipe that I love prepping is homemade DIY energy bars and energy bites or even a breakfast cookie. So I love these prune protein cookies. They make such a great snack or on the go breakfast option. And I've shared this recipe before on my blog. I definitely recommend making a double batch because they won't last long. And I'll put a link below for this recipe below in the video description box. Tip number 10 is to get organized. A cluttered, messy home can sometimes contribute to feeling anxious, overwhelmed, or just out of control. If you spend a few minutes each day throughout the week tidying up, it can bring you peace and more enjoyment for your living space, whether that's at work or at home. And health is holistic, meaning there are so many interconnected pieces that contribute to our health beyond food and nutrition. Your environment, stress levels, mental health, sleep, emotions, and of course food and movement all play a role in helping you achieve your overall healthiest life. I would love to learn what are some of your favorite healthy habits, so please share with me in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You can follow me on Instagram at Healthy Grocery Girl. And also for more information on SunSweet and the recipes that I've shared today, there are links below in the video description box. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.